Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. I caught on camera that my wife cheated on me with my son's best friend. I have been married for 23 years to what I have always seen as my perfect partner. She is stunningly beautiful, intelligent, and extroverted with a warm heart. I am 57 and she is 55 years old. Our personalities differ but complement one another. I am more introverted and rational, and I guess intellectual. She is more extroverted, intuitive and empathetic. We love doing the same things and we share many similar interests. We are very well traveled. We have three children, two girls and one boy, the youngest being an unexpected gift and is now 15. My oldest is 20 and a sophomore in college about 150 miles from home. We did very well for ourselves, one of the little perks we enjoy as a family is going on extended vacation at least every five months, we try to visit places that we haven't been before, mostly island and beachfront spots, we are fit, and all our children give us so much energy, sometimes we invite family and friends even my son's best friend or my daughter's friend can tag along, and we pay for their flight and accommodation, life was all good. I was previously married for four years but honestly should not have been. I was too young, immature and, looking back now, emotionally codependent. I suspect my previous wife might have had a personality disorder and the latter years with her were a nightmare. She asked me for a divorce for reasons I could not comprehend at the time. With hindsight I now know that she had an emotional or physical affair. I was clueless then, handled it all wrong, was pathetic and initially devastated but in the end something in me snapped and I realized I just was done and wanted the torture to end. The divorce was fast but acrimonious due to the financial dispute. I was happy when it was all over and did not regret the divorce at all. Career-wise I was extremely successful and held senior regional executive positions for a global company at a very young age but, due to a rare disease, I had to end my career due to hearing loss. We manage fine as we can live off my accumulated savings and ongoing investment activities. I have saved and invested well over many years. I own my time and work on my own investments but do miss working with others, leading a team of professionals building something bigger professionally. Our marriage was fine or so I thought. I guess one transitions from the years of young love to a more mature and stable relationship. We have helped so are able to go out together in the evenings whenever we want, and we do a lot together as a couple as well as a family. My hearing loss has been hard for us. It is frustrating as I can often no longer participate in many group conversations, miss this and have become more introverted. My working alone also hasn't helped. I have been struggling with my hearing and that no doubt at times has made me seem more distant and this frustrates my wife and me. She always has to repeat things to me, and I also do get annoyed more easily, it's just so frustrating when one's otherwise strong cognitive abilities are hindered by not being able to hear or participate in a group conversation, and I must have spent cumulatively weeks or even months in such situations where I feel like a bystander due to not being able to participate. I tend to have a shorter temper and am more impatient in conversation as I often miss things if conversations are too long so I like to get to the point in order to hear everything, but I am sure this can make me seem abrupt. So why am I here? The suspicion started about three months ago that bothered me till this day, but I was abrupt and apprehensive and didn't have enough patience to wait for more evidence before confronting my wife. It has become like a virus that has now infected me and gone from a whisper to a shouted question, was my wife gaslighting me about her affair? I have this growing and nagging suspicion that my wife is infatuated with my son's 21-year-old best friend. It all began three months before the beginning of August 2019, we were planning on taking a vacation with our three children, my son was home from school, and it was a trip that we have planned a few months earlier. My wife is normally the one that plans our vacation destinations, she really likes traveling and I like how excited she gets weeks before the departure dates. 
My wife and I have always had quite active social lives but with a defined group of friends, most of whom we both know. Nearly all are married. My wife often goes out for dinner with her friends once or twice a week. Either at a restaurant or at someone's house. She often overflows her diary, and always has had a hard time declining invitations. We normally invite family and friends, call them up early to coordinate our schedule, so it shouldn't be too unusual when I overheard my wife on the phone while she was in the kitchen talking to someone about joining us for a trip, my hearing wasn't too good, but I could tell that she was not coordinating schedule but actively trying to convince this person to join us on a trip, she was saying it will be fun, just like before, we would go on a boat ride together, walk on the beach, we would go snorkeling, etc. It was almost like she was enticing a child with a candy, so I felt it was kind of unusual, when she realized that I was behind her she startled, almost knocked the phone out of her hands. She held her chest almost like I have given her a heart attack, then she immediately pretended like she wasn't startled. I gave her a strange look, like what the hell just happened as she walked away from the kitchen into the pantry, she immediately returned to the kitchen almost like she stepped into the pantry to compose herself. She asked me what I wanted to eat for dinner, she already asked me that a few hours earlier so that seemed a bit of a strange question. I told her again what I wanted for dinner, then step out of the kitchen to join my kids in the living room watching TV. Few minutes later, I'm sitting on the dining table with my wife and kids, eating dinner, having conversation about school and friends, etc., then my wife mentioned that my son's friend, let's call him Jason, Jason texted her saying that he would like to come with us on our upcoming vacation, this got an instant reaction from my son, my son responded that he never told Jason about our upcoming vacation because he was inviting his girlfriend, but he said that Jason texted him as well a few minutes ago saying that he wanted to join us on the trip, he said that it would be nice for him to join us as well. My son said he wanted to ask us first before he responded to his friend, but thanked my wife for bringing it up first, my son had already informed us earlier that he was bringing his girlfriend on the trip, so I thought it was a little strange to be inviting his friend since he will be spending most of his time with his new girlfriend. Moreover, I suspected that my wife lied about the text message because I now believed that Jason must have been the person she was speaking with on the phone, trying to convince him to join us on the trip, but she was acting like Jason initiated it. Jason is a good kid, him and my son became best friends since they were 14 years old, when they met at a summer camp, both of his parents are African American and live a middle class neighborhood in the inner city, they are really hard working folks, both work for a delivering service, I wouldn't mention it to conceal their identity. My son and Jason are not on the same school district, but his parent pay a lot of money to have him in many after school programs that my son was involved in, they also played basketball together and he visits my home often to play video game with my son, I have met his mom a couple of times when she drops him off at my house or pick him up from practice etc, my wife always volunteer to drop him off, she was fond of him. I didn't find anything strange with that because Jason was a good kid and very smart as well, and it was obvious that he has a bright future ahead of him. He graduated high school before my son and went to a different college, since then we have only seen him twice. So, knowing all this background information, you would understand why I thought that maybe my wife lied because she was trying to bring Jason closer to us as before, because she is the type that likes getting involved with helping underprivileged kids, mentoring minorities, get involved in a lot of progressive activists, and volunteering, I thought this was one of her things that she does. Plus, I like him because he is much more mature for his age and could carry on an adult conversation even better than my son, he is good company, so after knowing all this, I brushed all my suspicions aside. Three days before the vacation getaway, my wife went shopping with my 18 year old daughter for some of the items that we would use on the trip, I remember that it was a long shopping trip and she bought thing for both my son and some presents for Jason, I didn't know about this till later, but even if I knew I still wouldn't find it too strange because she had always bought presents for him when he was younger. The following day my son's girlfriend arrived in the morning, later that evening Jason arrived as well. 
That evening was a blast, we all went out to eat, my wife sat close to me, and Jason sat close to my daughter, however, I can't help noticing that my wife kept staring at Jason throughout the entire time at the restaurant, even when I was talking to her. She was in such a good mood, and I didn't understand why at the time, I just played along because it made me happy to see everyone happy. When we got home that night I went to bed, and my wife stayed up late with the kids. I'm not certain but I think she came to bed around 3 a.m. in the morning. The following day, as we were preparing for the trip, I was going through my checklist to make sure that I didn't forget anything, I noticed that I was missing my credit card, after we had parked our luggage for the trip, I searched everywhere but couldn't find it, as I was looking through my wife's luggage because she was the one that used it last, I noticed that she had bought one of those open back bow crotchless bikini, which I thought was inappropriate especially for a mother her age, but I thought that she bought it for me and that I was in for a surprise on this trip. The following day we all took a business class flight to the vacation spot, somewhere in the southwest region of Barbados. Carlisle Bay, it was a spectacular luxurious Caribbean beach and spa resort nestled on the southern shore of the island of Antigua. Overlooking a dazzling white sand beach and tranquil turquoise waters, it is a slice of paradise, one of the most beautiful among Antigua resorts. On the first day I spent most of the time relaxing on the beach reading investment article and Wall Street Journal, etc., while my family went out scuba diving, in the evening my wife went out to a disco bar with my son, his girlfriend and Jason, while I went to a restaurant with my daughter. My wife and others returned home about three hours after me and my daughter returned, I noticed that she was a little tipsy, she woke me up just to have sex after she returned, I thought something must have really gotten her turned on because we had one of the best sex, we have had in many months. The next day I spent most of the time on the beach with my wife, in the evening she told me that she was going to a restaurant with my daughter, son, his girlfriend and Jason, but around 10 am when my son returned with his girlfriend, and his sister, my wife and Jason were nowhere to be found, I asked them where my wife was and they said that she went out with Jason on some kind of a local wildlife tour, the same night I woke up around 1 am and my wife was not by my side, I wanted to go outside for some ocean breeze and also wait for my wife to return, as soon as I open the door leading to the living room area I notice some quick movement around the couch, the TV was on, and I saw my wife pretending to be laying down on one of the couch, while Jason was on the adjacent couch, my wife was wearing a wrap not cover up skirt and underneath that I remember the color of the open back bow crotchless bikini I saw on her luggage, they were both sitting on separate couches looking awkwardly at the television, even though the window were open, the air in the room was heavy and I could smell the unmistakable scent of Zex in the air, I may be losing my hearing but my other senses are very hyperactive, at that moment I knew Jason was banging my wife, if I had open the door more slowly, I believe I would have caught them red handed. I didn't really know how to react at that moment, I gazed at both of them for a second, it was awkward, very awkward, they have clearly separated as soon as they heard the door open, he was only wearing shorts, no t-shirt on, shouldn't be too unusual since our suite is literally in the ocean, but I could clearly make out an erection that he is trying to hide, I went back to the bedroom as my wife followed behind me, she acted like everything was normal. I can sense that she was having sex and was trying to play me like everything was normal like they were just watching TV. I didn't mention anything that night partly because I was speechless, I felt really sorry for myself, depressed and lonely. With the hearing loss coupled with the betrayal I felt like I was disappearing like a phantom and slowing being ignored by my wife and family. I felt humiliated and ashamed didn't get much sleep that night, the next day, I knew I have no evidence but everything from the moment I overheard her on the phone convincing Jason to come with us on vacation, till the moment I almost caught them having sex all came together, at that moment I knew my wife must be carrying on a sexual relationship with my son's friend. I had no clear evidence, just circumstantial, but it bothered me so much that I felt like I have to confront my wife that morning. I called her into the room and I told her that I caught her having sex with Jason, I told her to come clean and I asked her how long it has been going on. 
Her reaction was out of character for her and so very odd, she denied everything and was very upset that I would even think of such a thing, she called me every name in the book including a deaf and a racist, and it worked, because she won the argument, I had no evidence and there was nothing I could do because I had no solid proof, she said that I am not only losing my hearing but I was losing my senses as well, she was very adamant and convincing, she could have fooled me, raising her voice so much that I was afraid my kids would hear her, you could imagine the disaster and embarrassment it would be if my kids finds out that I was jealous of the black kid that they have known for more than 7 years, and I thought he was banging their mom without clear evidence. At the end of the day, I was the one holding the bag, I was the one apologizing, I felt like I should have waited to gather more evidence before confronting her, I let my emotion get the best of me, I am normally very logical and rational but my emotion got the best of me, I should have slept over it to come up with a plan because I should have known that she would deny it. The rest of the vacation was terrible, my wife treated me like a plague almost disgusted by me. I felt like I had lost some respect, but I know what I felt, I know she was gaslighting me, I know she was having sex with Jason on the couch, but I just couldn't prove it. Update. I confronted my wife two days ago about my suspicion that she was having an affair with Jason, which she denied vehemently of course, she has been giving me the silent treatment, even our kids have noticed but we kept it between ourselves. I also noticed that she has stopped hanging out with Jason alone and started doing activities together with all of us present, this vacation was supposed to be about me and her and our three children, vacations like this is supposed to bring us together not to tear us apart, our last vacation was exactly like that, we never left each other side, we go fishing together, go on picnics together etc, I couldn't fathom why she was so hell bent on inviting him on this trip. It wasn't like Jason hasn't been on vacation with us, in fact when he was 19 we went on a vacation with him and if I recall correctly I spent most of the time with my wife then, but I'm not a night person so I go to bed early, she on the other hand is a night owl, so if she would have an affair with him back then, it would be when I was asleep. I have this nagging suspicion that this affair has been going on for a very long time, I think the reason she took more risk this time is because she hasn't seen Jason as often as she normally does since he's been busy in college. Thinking back, I question the late night dinner with married friends that she frequents at least once or twice a week. This coincidentally happens more frequently when Jason is on holiday from college. We have always had a healthy bed life. But I would say her libido is increasing with age, as mine slows down, but at least we have sex once a week, if she had her way, it would probably be more than once a week, I kept questioning myself how I went wrong, was it because I'm not as sexually active as I used to be? We have two days left before the vacation ends, it seemed like everybody was having fun except for me and my wife, there is this tension between us that I want to break tonight, I wanted to hit the reset button, I wanted to go back to how things was before I confronted her, I didn't want this tension to last another day, and I definitely didn't want to carry it back home, so I called my wife aside and told her that we would be having dinner at a secluded restaurant so we can harsh things out, and she agreed. So later that evening, the kids were busy with some other activities, I put on my floral shirt and shorts and she wore a sundress, the restaurant was about 300 yards away from our resort, so we walked over there. We reserved a table earlier that was facing the ocean, it was a beautiful sight. We sat on the table for two. I sat quietly for a minute because I wanted her to break the ice, I felt like I have done the mistake of giving her information that I know the first time, instead of being very cerebral about it, my plan was to allow my wife to feel comfortable about everything, I was going to apologize and act like I have made a mistake by falsely accusing her, I will allow her to do more talking this time and I will pay close attention to her, waiting for her to make a mistake. I have been blinded all these years and I have trusted her with everything I have but instead she repaid me by disrespecting me, she is banging a man her son's age and lied to me about it, she tried to guilt me, and shamed me like I am a fool. I'm the one that put this family together, I am the brains behind the wealth she enjoys, the dress she is wearing belongs to me, and she thinks I got this far by being stupid. 
I have to admit that I have spent too much time with work and my hearing loss may have distracted me, and I guess it was too much to trust your wife and not pay attention to what she has been up to, it's bad enough that she is having an affair, but my son's friend, a boy that's like a son to me, a boy she was supposed to be mentoring hits close to home. The first thing my wife said after the awkward silent was that she was sorry that she wasn't spending time with me like she normally do when we are on vacation, she said she could understand why I would think that there was something between her and Jason because he has become a close friend to her, she looked at me straight in the eyes and said, and I quote, I never slept with him, I looked at her and nodded in agreement, I didn't say anything, she continued, she said that she felt like I have been distant and she has been trying to reconnect with me but I have been reclusive, and she understand that my hearing loss is contributing to it but she is there for me. She also apologizes for the mean things she said to me, and that she spoke out of terms because she was angry that I ever came to such a conclusion. She said she has always been loyal to me and would never betray me. I felt like she started on a good note, I wanted our conversation to be positive and I wanted her to let her guards down. So, I told her that I haven't been myself lately and I wanted us to be closer during the vacation, I was careful not to mention Jason, or the affair. We had a nice romantic lunch and went back to the resort holding hands. The rest of our stay there was uneventful, she tried to do things with me but I still thought it was forced and she didn't want to be there, almost like she is doing things out of guilt, I thought maybe it was my mind playing tricks on me because I am now aware that she is having an affair and the image of the pure and loyal wife have been shattered, maybe because I felt like I was blind but now I see, after the reconciliation during dinner the kids no longer suspect anything but I still feel like something doesn't add up, at that moment I remembered that I have wired my house with cameras on most of the common areas like the front porch, the backyard, both sides of the house, the living room, the home theater, and the game room. The camera footage stores content for 30 days before it wipes off. I was hoping that maybe the camera caught something that could incriminate my wife and prove that I am not crazy. I was excited about the new ammunition, I couldn't wait to get back home. I pretended like everything was good during the rest of the stay, to my wife, it must have felt like a close call, she must have thought I have forgotten all about it, she must have felt like she has completely done a mind job on me. She acted like a perfect mom and wife, I couldn't help but look at her with disgust because I felt like she was so comfortable in deceiving me, gave me an impression that she must have done it before throughout the relationship, all my life even in my business, I hold honestly and loyalty above all things, I hate being lied to or feel like I'm getting the wrong end of the stick. When we got home from the trip, I was so excited, I didn't want to give myself too much hope by thinking there would be anything on the camera because my wife knows that the cameras are there, they are very obvious, in fact she was the one that convinced me to get them after she saw one at her friend's house, so I wasn't thinking she would be careless enough to do anything in front of the cameras. There is a chance she may have made a mistake this time, and that was what I was counting on, I was so paranoid that since she knows that I was onto her, she may rush home to clean out the recording before I could get my hands on it. My wife is not really a technology person, she wouldn't know how to wipe the memory but again she may do something that compromises the camera storage to make it impossible to retrieve any information. After we got off the plane I told my wife that I wasn't feeling well, I acted really sick and gave my wife a prescription to pick up for me, she normally picks up my prescription and I was sure that I didn't need a refill but I told her that I forgot my prescription at the resort. I told her that I will take a different taxi with the kids to go and lay down. Jason took a different taxi back to his parents' house. As soon as I got home, I downloaded two days before we went on vacation on a portable hard drive. Those day were when Jason came to our home, it took a while to download it but it was completed before my wife got home, when my wife returned, I watch her to see if she checked the camera storage or do anything to compromise it but she didn't, it was almost like the camera never existed to her. It took us till midnight to unpack, all I thought about was for everybody to go to sleep so I can see if there were anything to find on the footage. 
When everybody finally went to bed, I plugged the hard drive to my laptop and started the arguing process of watching the tape. I fast forwarded to the specific timeline from when Jason visited. The night when Jason arrived, he stayed at the guest bedroom, the game room has a hallway that leads to the guest rooms. As I fast forwarded, I saw my wife on the frame on the game room camera footage, I played normal speed, it was timed stamped to 12.53 am, my wife met up with Jason on the hallway visible to game room camera, he pulled her in for a kiss and they made out for a few seconds, she playfully pushed him away and turn about to get out of the game room as he playfully slapped her but when she turned around, she giggled her way out of the game room toward the main area. It was obvious even to a blind man that they were having an affair, that was all the proof I needed. My heart was beating so fast I thought I was going to have a heart attack, I wasn't angry but was relieved that I now have what I needed to confront my cheating wife. I was about to close my laptop when she showed up on the footage again around 1.15 am, she went straight to the guest hallway, and I assumed to the guest bedroom with Jason and didn't come out till 2.47 am. Jason is the only person staying in the guest room since my son's girlfriend is staying with him. She clearly joined him in the guest bedroom to have sex with him, after doing her deeds, she walked off toward the main area straight to our matrimonial bed where I was sleeping. Armed with the proof that I needed I didn't wake her up, in the morning I contacted my lawyer and he referred me to a divorce lawyer, and I scheduled a meeting the same day, after the meeting I had an idea how much of a financial impact it would have on me, and it is significant, but I know that I have to follow through with a separation agreement. I can't continue in a marriage with someone that I don't trust. Someone that lied to me, and turned it around on me accusing me of being a racist while taking advantage of the young man she was supposed to be mentoring, I know that I wouldn't want my kids to know the detail of the divorce because I don't want them to turn against their mom, however, I just don't want Jason around us anymore, although I understand the circumstances and I know he may not have initiated it, I still don't want a reminder of my wife's infidelity. I don't know if I will ever reveal it to my son and daughters, or if I ever want them to know. But I will use it as a negotiating position against my wife. That evening, my kids were out of the house, I edited only the portion where my wife made out with Jason and when she went into the guest bedroom from 1.15 am to 2.47 am, I summoned her into the room and played it to her on my laptop, just few minutes into it she knew what his was and covered her face with the palm of her hands. She refused to look at the screen, or answer any of my questions, I would like to know some details about their relationship, like when it started, but she refused to answer my questions, all she did was sob, she knew there was no excuse, I used that opportunity to give her a piece of what she gave me during our trip, I called her all kinds of names, the only time I got a response from her was when I told her that I will share the video with the kids, she quickly stopped sobbing, looked at me and started begging me on her knees, she said she would do anything that I ask of her, not to reveal it to our kids. I told her that she would accept any alimony I agree to pay her, and to grant me an amicable divorce on my terms and in return I will go along with the story that the reason we are divorcing is because of irreconcilable differences. The next day we brought our kids together and told them that we are getting divorce, she and our three kids were present, my kids had so many questions, they tried their very best to force us to reconcile but my wayward wife played her part, she kept the story that we were both unhappy and have been for a while and we feel like it would be best to separate. It was a very tearful night, my wife tried her best to hold her emotions so the kids would think that she initiated it, but it was very obvious that I was the one filing for the divorce, no matter how we tried to hide it, she couldn't hold her emotion, it was a very sad day for my family, I tried to hold myself together and I cried when I was alone in the bedroom. Well, it is what it is, another marriage down the drain for the same reason, I wonder why I keep getting married. Update. I caught on camera that my wife cheated on me with my son's best friend. So, after we broke the news of our separation to our children, my kids were understandably destroyed. My youngest, now 16 took it the hardest, she didn't understand why we couldn't reconcile. 
The next day my oldest daughter came to talk to me in the room that I share with my wife, my wife now sleeps in the guest room. My daughter told me that she tried to get a hold of her, she has been knocking on her door, but she hasn't been responding. She didn't understand what and when things went wrong because we both seemed happy on the vacation trip, only a few days ago. She sat next to me on the bed trying to pry the reason for the divorce out of me, it almost slipped because she was putting so much pressure on me with her continuous crying, she said that we have shut them out of our lives, that bothered me a lot because I felt like we didn't, but I reassured her that her mother we let her know when all the emotions is tempered down, I told her that I and her mother had a great marriage and made three beautiful kids, and for that I am grateful but there comes a time where we fall out of love, and that's what happened happened. I gave her a BS answer and she is smart to know that as well, she may have left the room suspecting infidelity on my wife's part but didn't want to push me too far because she may not like what she finds out. Since she is close to her mom, I thought she would find out about the truth soon enough. The following day I had an appointment with my otolaryngologist for a hearing aid that improved my hearing significantly. My wife remain room bound for a couple of days, we normally eat dinner together, but my children took their food to their rooms and I didn't see my wife throughout that day. I was the only one on the dining table, my oldest daughter is a great cook, so she normally cooks for the family when she is back from college, really good kid, I couldn't be any prouder of her. We are the normal traditional American family, eat dinner together, kiss each other good morning and good night, go to church together, say I love you to one another, so it's really strange for me to watch my kids not having dinner together, really strange for the family to be falling apart like this, I have spent years building this family to what it is today, and my wife just destroyed it just because of Zex. As I sat on the dining table alone, I was angry at my wife and at the same time I wonder whether I am doing the right thing, I mean it wasn't like I was unhappy with the marriage before D-Day, it wasn't like I wasn't getting enough zex out of my wife. I have heard stories of cheating wife denying their husband's zex during their affair, but that wasn't the case for me, in my case my wife has never denied me zex or affection, while we were married, she pampered me like a baby and I have always felt like I am number one in her life, she will even give priority to me before the children. Deep inside me I felt jealous and betrayed, I ask myself if her affair with Jason was just an insatiable desire that she wanted to quench, and if Jason happened to be the easiest option for her because he was accessible, I rather it had been an outsider, wouldn't have made it any easier but at least it wouldn't be somebody that my son calls his best friend and very close to my family. The following day my son's girlfriend left, I had a chance to speak with my son, but we didn't get into many details, he didn't ask me why we were separating, he just wanted to know how I was holding up, I knew he has been speaking with my daughter just by the way he phrased his questions. About a day later my wife finally came out of her somber, she looked like she had been crying a lot, her eyes were swollen, her hair was unkept and she looked like she hasn't taken a shower for days. That night both of us eat dinner that my daughter prepared, we sat on opposite section of the dining table. I felt like I should be the one that is hurt and crying with eyes swollen and my wife should be on her knees begging, but instead I feel like I'm alone, my inability to tell my kids about her affair just felt heavy inside. My kids were more concerned about my wife well-being, because she appeared to be taking it really hard, normally she is the life of the party, always happy, the type that makes everybody feel welcome and at ease, making sure everybody is doing well and well fed, she is very caring, and nurturing. Don't get me wrong, I am hurt by this, but I am good at masking it and pretending like everything is okay. The following day, my wife asked me if we could go to a restaurant that we like and that we should talk, I really didn't want to because I was still hurt by her affair, but because there was so much tension between us and the kids, I feel like we should break the ice, and if we are going to separate which is the plan, it should be done amicably. We drove in the same car, didn't talk much on our way there. We arrived, got seated, the first word out of her mouth was that she was sorry for everything she put me through, she was sorry she betrayed my trust, she said she didn't want to come out of the room because she was so embarrassed and ashamed. 
she said she was selfish and followed her animal instinct without reasoning and consideration for how much it will hurt those she loves. She said that she loves me more than anything and said that she wanted to spend the rest of her life with me. She said she never knew how much pain she cost me until she was caught. I allowed her to finish apologizing before I responded. I told her that she was only sorry because she got caught, she put me in a position to be dishonest with my kids and I feel like we owe them the truth. As soon as I said that, she had this look of distract on her face, she looked down as she held her head with both hands as if she have a headache. She raised her head and looked at me now with tears in her eyes, she started fanning herself like she is hyperventilating, I was emotionless and didn't react to her drama. She went quiet for a minute then responded that she knows that sooner or later she have to tell them the truth but she needs time to build up the courage. She asked me if there was anything that she could do to savage this relationship, she suggested that I can have an open marriage on my end, and she would stay loyal, she pleaded with me not to force her to tell the kids and we should keep it to ourselves. I insisted that she has to tell the kids the truth, I asked her how long the affair has been going on, she claimed that the affair has been going on for 6 years, mind you Jason must have been 15 or 16 at the time, I pressed her for more and she said that the first time was by accident, during my youngest daughter basketball game, she was supposed to watch my daughter's first basketball game with my son, my son invited Jason to tag along, the game should have started around 5 pm but there was a delay, so my daughter was practicing with her team while son looked on or was playing on his phone she doesn't remember. Jason was sitting in the middle of her and my son and she was having a conversation with Jason, she then said she needed some fresh air and Jason joined her. They ended up in her minivan, one thing led to another they kiss and then had sex in the back of her minivan on the high school parking lot, she said she felt guilty and cheap about that, they promised not to do it again, and not to tell anyone about it. But over the years they had sex regularly. But before we went on vacation, she hadn't seen him for over 6 months, she said she never thought about it till Jason showed up to join us on vacation. I felt like she wasn't giving me the entire story, I knew that Jason didn't invite himself, she convinced him to come, I confronted her with that fact before she admitted to it, she wanted an opportunity to meet up with him again and she had always wanted to go on vacation with him and she stupidly thought that was her chance, she said they had sex the day before the vacation when the security camera caught them and also they were having sex when I caught them during the vacation. She said that she cares about him and can't seem to take her hands off him when she is around him, but she loves me, she said that the relationship was strictly sexual, like it was supposed to make me feel better about it, she said that since she started getting older her desire for sex has increased by three folds. She said that since I no longer want sex as much as she does, she is always left unfulfilled and frustrated. She said she is madly in love with me but have been really sexually frustrated for a long time, and she kept the marriage together by satisfying what was missing with Jason, it has gotten to a point that she couldn't control her desire and has normalized her affair, she told me that she has been seeing a psychotherapist and was prescribed certain types of antidepressants used to treat depression anxiety or obsessive compulsive disorder, which may help with compulsive sexual behaviors, she took the medication for a while but then was worried about the side effects. She claims that the psychotherapy sessions and medication help her a bit, and she also bought some sex toys to satisfy herself, but still couldn't get herself to stop the affair with Jason, she claimed that he was the only person she has cheated on me with, the treatment and sex toys helped her control her urges. After she reviewed all this information that she have never shared with me before I felt really lost and guilty, maybe if she had told me this before I would have taken some male enhancement medication to match her desire, I inquire why she didn't tell me all this before and she said she did, several times but not in detail and gave me a lot of hints but she felt like I had already checked out from Zex. She said I was only interested in the one to two times a week but she needed sex at least once a day, she mentioned how many times I denied her sex and how she was always the sexual aggressor. She said that she is not trying to blame me because she knew that she was the one with the abnormal sexual desire, and she wanted to fix herself because I was going through a lot already.
After the talk with my wife at the restaurant I wasn't as angry as I was before. I knew her enough to know that she has been going through a lot in silent, I think she is a borderline sexual obsessed and has been doing everything she could to control her desire. I have always known this but never took it seriously because she wasn't always like this. She wasn't lying when she said that she had tried to bring it to my attention, but I was dismissive about it. I thought it was a phase that would pass. I actually knew that she had some toys but I didn't care. I was getting zex when I wanted it, so why should I care? I realize this mindset is selfish to an extent, and I should have paid enough attention to her desires well. I felt like she was sick and have been struggling with it. It was quite a relief to see where she was coming from, but sick or not it was wrong, she was wrong to give in to her desires, we took a vow and she broke it and I feel like there must be consequences, but still at this point I started questioning the decision to divorce my cheating wife. I needed to speak to someone, so I scheduled an appointment with my therapist. The therapist told me that given the closeness of the relationship with the affair partner, he recommends that she goes no contact with Jason, I asked him if he recommends telling my children, and he said that he don't know the mental state of my wife and my children so he doesn't have an opinion about it, but said it wouldn't really matter because Jason may or may not inform my children himself, but in any case, the most important thing is that I have control of the narrative. So, he has no opinion about that but if I chose the route of not informing my children, I should tell my wife to inform Jason that they have been exposed and to never contact her or any of my family ever again. He said I should consider allowing two to three months of probation to see if I feel the same way about divorcing. He also recommended individual counseling for both. I asked him if he thought a couple's counseling is necessary. He said that it will be good for her to express herself in front of an unbiased observer. After the session I didn't know how I feel about the whole situation, but after thinking about my children, the relationship I have built with my wife over the years, how happy I have been with my family so far, I thought that it wouldn't hurt to give the two to three months a try. That night I told my wife about the conditions, I told her that she should go no contact with Jason, and from henceforth to never talk or see him again. I told her that we would inform my son and my oldest daughter about the affair and so they would go no contact with Jason as well. I told her that if she breaks this rule, I will complete the divorce process that I have already started. She said she knows that she has done a mistake and regardless of that she is willing to do anything to save our marriage and she knows that one way or another the truth would come out, and she is afraid of the truth, she is afraid of what our children will think of her. I told her that she doesn't need to go into detail and she agreed with me that she would confess to my son and our daughter and bear the consequences. Since the discussion with my wife at the restaurant the tension in my household has slowly reduced. My kids were curious and sure whether we are still getting divorced, but they didn't ask, at least not to me. At this point my kids started having dinner as a family, things are starting to get normalized in the household, but me and my wife were still sleeping in separate bedrooms. After the conversation with my wife about revealing her affair to my son and daughter, we decided to get it done tonight after dinner, we sent our youngest daughter to her room. Then we sat my son and oldest daughter on the dining table. I started by telling my kids that their mom was the reason why I wanted a divorce, but we are currently reconciling in order to do that she has to come clean about what she did. Then it was my wife's turn to talk, took her a while to say anything, she started talking but words weren't coming out, tears were coming down her eyes. As my kids curiously looked on, be it genuine or an act, it was very painful to watch, maybe she was trying to soften the landing, by garnering sympathy, so I thought. She started saying that she disappointed us and has embarrassed us and that she made a huge mistake by having an inappropriate relationship with Jason. The room was so quiet as I looked at my kids to gauge their reaction, her face on the ground in shame, not looking at my kids or me. As soon as she said that my daughter's jaw dropped, my son couldn't stop screaming the F word as he violently stood up and walked to his bedroom, he slammed the bedroom door behind him, now I'm sitting across the dining table my daughter sitting two chairs away on my right side and my wife sitting on the other side. 
My daughter face was in shock for at least a minute, before she whispered loudly I knew it, I knew it. I was on my chair enjoying the show, with mixed emotion, I didn't really know what to make of the whole situation. My daughter came up to me, gave me a hug, I didn't respond to her, but she held me tightly, my wife is crying loudly at this point, I think my daughter was crying as well. When I saw how much pain my wife was in, I felt really concerned for her, I have never seen her that destruct. My wife got up and left the room, she went to the guest room and shut the door. My daughter asks me if I was okay, and I said yes, I told her that I have had enough time to process this information and I haven't forgiven her mother but I understand why it happened. I told her that I didn't want to leave them in the dark any longer which was while I forced her to reveal the information. I went to bed that night with a clear conscience knowing that tomorrow is a new beginning and it's better to start with the truth than lies. The next day my daughter made me breakfast, my wife was still in her room, my son had already left the house, my daughter told me that he is still upset and planned to move out of the house away from his mom because he couldn't stand to look at her. I spent most of the morning talking to my daughters as my oldest daughter tried to take my mind away from my wife infidelity and bring some positive energy, by afternoon my wife still haven't come out of her room, so my daughter was really concerned because they planned on going out to run some errands and are already late, my daughter knocked on the door for what seemed like over 10 minutes and my wife wasn't responding. I began to get worried in the evening when my wife still hasn't come out of her room. So, I went and knocked on the door myself, but she didn't respond. I thought things were getting better, apparently, she is not taking it well, I thought she was ashamed to face my kids, but still everything felt kind of odd to me. That night during dinner she didn't show up and my son didn't come back home neither, I called him to check on him and he said he was at a friend's place, it was just me and my two daughters having dinner that night. When I didn't hear anything from my wife the next morning, I knew something was wrong so I decided to force the door open, me and my oldest daughter did all we could to force the door open, it was bolted from the inside. As we opened the door, we found my wife laying down on her belly, still under the covers, I also saw some pills and a glass of water, I immediately told my daughter to call 911, I checked her pulse, her body already discolored, my younger daughter is now crying, shaking my wife to wake up, my older daughter is now hysterically talking on the phone with 911. I didn't need to be a doctor to see that she has been dead for almost a day, I was completely numb, I don't know if to cry or shout, I was in all to shock, this is all my fault. It took me a while to get a hold of myself, the ambulance is already here and loading her in a body bag, I don't know who called my son, but he was already there sobbing uncontrollably. I spent almost the entire night talking to the investigators. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.